starting at the second. This is his second shot, five under par, three back of his teammate, Brooks Kepka. But his five yeah. under registered, of course, for Smash, who lead. Peter, you line it too, Bubba. Yeah, he had a good good wedge shot in here. He's got a 12-footer. There you go. Started off nice. And the lead is one. Great start for Brooks Kepka. No need to attack this pin. Oh, this is this is leaking, guys. I think this is water. Oh, 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 that's the second one that has been very close to the edge. Just a little over time. <laughs> well, see, you Early haven't got a sweatshirt on yet. I had it wrapped around me, but you don't know, turn you this way very often. Pitiful. Doesn't, doesn't look like a new sweatshirt, that one, Jerry. Exactly. Oh, it's... Uh, Where did you buy it? I didn't. It was free. In what year? 91. 1991. 1991. 31-year-old sweatshirt. Timeless. The green, Peter Uline for his birdie. To tie Brooks Kepka, his teammate and captain, and he... Troy, we hear the said, hashtag you know what I is friendly fire. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in the way, I gotta go. You know what I said though? I said I'm I'm more of a, a niblick in the sense that you know I go out and shoot the lowest. Kepka cleaning up at four. He gets it to nine under. I'm not really good at math, but is this you line to birdie every hole still? No, he's four under through six. Or he's four under. Wait. Yes. You're very good at math. I'm not. He missed it, so he didn't birdie yeah, every hole. Let's no. just go with that. Well, you line with a big putt here at nine. Oh, well done. That was par. Pick it up steeply. That looks pretty good. Oh, oh this looks really good. Beautiful. So, kiss the hello. Got to ask the line on it, okay? Have a little fun. Ricky Elliott. On the tee at three for Smash GC. Jason Kokrak. Oh, great shot. Yeah, four under on his round today. For his birdie at three, and he is more than contributing to Team Smash, that was a few right moments ago. Thank you. Individually, move. five under par. Well, this is the fourth shot from Peter Uline at 13. Didn't seem enamored with that either, pulled it away. Uline for bogey at 14. 13, excuse me. So it looks like Peter's going to slip back to the pack at eight under. Sergio at nine. Smash have a ten shot lead. Co crack. Oh. oh. That would have made it 11. <laughs> Come on, wind. Oh, I hit that rock. Water. Oh. Wow, that came out dead right. He's got to get down or more. <laughs> Our leader drops two. Now then, can the uh, Kepka brothers fare better through chase here for Eagle? Yes. Is frolicking with elephants in Phuket. Mm. Oh, now that helps. Now then, Brooks to stay tied for the lead. And when the wind is blowing like this, it's whipping around your ankles. This is when these get tricky. Trickier. No mistake. 
And right, it's not a bad up and down. That was miss hit. Yeah, he was in between clubs there. You see, not really quite decided. I wish I miss hit it like that. Yeah, that's not bad. Jason Kokrak, his second shot at the seventh. Five under par today. Five under overall. His score, of course, counting for smash. Peter Uline stays at nine under par. No bitterness there. He's got to get down. He's right at it, but I think he's got to get down. It did. I'm actually in the marquee. Grab a sweet drink, <laughs> sick of water. I think you're right with the read of this thing. Most of the neighborhood invited, I'm sure. What a Saturday ahead in that particular part of Florida. Oh, oh Chase. That. Oh, great shot. Especially in his position, that's a great shot. Yeah, it's, it was a beautiful shot he hit in here. He, um, just trips it in to take the lead. Pretty nice. Well, that's a big moment for Peter. He goes to 11 under par, a stroke clear of his teammate and captain Brooks Kepka. That's a courageous line. No kidding. Oh, magnificent iron shot. New line. for birdie and he makes it so Brooks Kepka ends the day with the joint lead with Peter Uline on 11 under par smash teammates of course it should be uh, should be an exciting day tomorrow well congratulations that was fun go get some rest thank you six under 64 for Sergio today Peter Uline this for 63 and Peter Uline has the outright lead. 12 under par, going into the final round. What a massive day for him ahead tomorrow. Yeah, I think the green, the green speed's definitely sped up a lot, so I had trouble adjusting with there. Uh, drove really well, so I'm pleased with that. Ball striking is great, but um, like I said, I think the greens just got a little faster and um, you know it changes the read. So a little difficulty there, but uh, overall I'm satisfied. You're tied for the lead right now with Peter Uline, who's got a short birdie putt on his last hole. Maybe, I don't think your score is going to count towards the team today. Mixed feelings, but I'm sure you're happy. That's a great thing. That's <laughs> a great thing. I love that. If I'm going to shoot, what, three under and it's not going to count, that's a good thing. Good. Anyway, play well tomorrow. Yep. I look forward to seeing you. Thank you. Seeing the leaderboard, did you look at the leaderboard, seeing Brooks and you battling all day and teammates? Yeah, so which yeah. one's more important, the team or right now you're beating Brooks? <laughs> uh, I think the team. Uh, I think we... Last I looked, I think we got we had about a five, six shot lead when I last looked, but I don't know what happened on the last few. So, uh, yeah, I think the team the team's important because I know if we win, I think we might end up in the fifth spot, which then you know we get to kind of pick and choose who we play in Miami, which is which is important. I think you know if you're if you're not being in the top four, you want to at least be in that fifth spot so you can pick and choose who you want in the first round. Perfect, man. Great playing today, man. Thank you, man. Thanks, buddy.